the things you're about to see will traumatize you. You've been warned. That's all I have to say. You have been warned. I don't know about you guys, but I generally start tweaking when I see someone play with their food or waste food. Maybe it's the big back in me, but I, I just can't stand it. I can't see, stand to see food be played with. And lately on Instagram, that's all I've been seeing. I've just been seeing people waste food, play with food, or just make these horrible, horrendous food creations all on my page. Terrible food combinations that shouldn't be made. Terrible food ingredients that shouldn't be combined. And I'm actually convinced that some of these people have black holes as stomachs because there's no way you're sitting here eating some of these food creations. There's no way I refuse to believe you're eating these food creations because the way the food's going into you, it's definitely not coming out that same way. I can promise you that. You gotta have like your own bathroom and like the basement tucked in a corner somewhere with doors that latch shut. <laughs> that have like a containment room, a contamination room, because there's no way that the food that go, that's going in you is coming out the same way. You gotta have your own bathroom for that. Why even suffer the pain just for you? I would like to introduce Kate Tries Anything. And if you haven't guessed by the name, oh she tries anything. She will try literally anything. Chicken breasts and Coca-Cola. She's tried it. Water on bread. Yeah, you heard me. Water on bread. Delicious, right? I love soggy bread. <laughs> She's tried it. The monstrosities that this woman creates is just, it's crazy. It's like, it's unthinkable, the stuff she creates. And it actually makes me nauseous. Like, I can't stand to see the recipes this woman is making. Now, if none of the recipes I show you have made you mad or sick, then I promise this one will. Chip Ahoy's and water. Delicious. I eat chip hoys in water every day. I think about it every day and now I'm gonna go make this recipe just because of Kate. So yeah, Kate will try literally anything and people are sick of her crap. People want her to stop. They want to put a stop to Kate. And Kate must be stopped before she raises an army of Karens that start cooking this for their children. Imagine getting home from school after a long day and your mom eat this. What are you gonna do? <laughs> are you eating that? You can't say no. It's the only food you're getting after school. Imagine getting a wife and she makes you this. What are you gonna do? <laughs> and it's all because if Kate tries anything, we have to stop Kate. She has to be stopped. But now that we had our main course served by Kate, we had a delicious meal of chicken breast and soda. Oh my God. How about some dessert? Now I know about you guys, but I love desserts. I am a dessert person. I can go through a whole box of donuts unsupervised. I can eat a whole bag of cookies. <laughs> what are they called? I can eat a whole tray of cookies by myself if I'm not supervised enough. But there are some desserts that even I can say are too much. There's some desserts that I can say, now that's, that's way too much, I'm not eating that. Like this one, for instance. What is this? <laughs> it was perfect before he poured the chocolate on top and added the giant hazelnut chocolate on top. It was perfect with just the cookie. And he adds all this other stuff onto it. And he does this multiple times. He makes the same recipe with different ingredients. He used the Easter eggs in one, chocolate syrup on top again, giant Easter egg. And he does this over and over again. And the crazy part is he eats this. <laughs> He believes that he eats some of these. Americans eat like they have free health care. <laughs> this is honestly a diabetes speed run. And I refuse to believe that this guy eats all of his creations. I refuse to believe it because there's no way. There's no way your teeth can handle this. And there's no way it's making it through your stomach. There's no way it's making it through your stomach. So like I said, I refuse to believe this guy's eating all his food creations. But you know who is eating all his food creations? This guy. Yeah, he eats a lot. And I'm not even saying that to body shame him. I'm just genuinely confused. And I refuse to believe that he's eating all of it. I refuse to believe it. He has to be spitting this out. 
because there's no way you eat an entire jar of peanut butter. How is that even possible? <laughs> Are you eating an entire jar of peanut butter? Three spoonfuls. I can't even get through a spoonful of peanut butter and you're eating an entire jar and proceed to eat more after that? There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. I also refuse to believe that he ate an entire block. And when I say block, I don't mean like the little store brought ones. I mean, he ate like a giant block of peanut butter, an entire thing with honey. There's no way. There's actually no way. <laughs> Would you guys actually try that? Who's eating butter out here? You guys, wait, actually, you remember that girl who's eating like butter and drinking oil? <laughs> what the heck is going on? I don't think I can continue with this video because I'm actually getting sick, but I will just for you. But you have to like the video. If you don't like the video, it stops right now. See how it stopped? Cause you didn't like it. Okay, now you liked it. Now the video continues. <laughs> so the next Instagram cook or chef or food creator, whatever we call it, that we're gonna talk about has been made popular because of her food huh? purse creations. Yeah, you heard me right. Food purse creations, a food purse. You ever go outside and you're like, dang, I wish I can take an entire jar of pickles with me in my purse. Now you can. Ever wanted to bring your sp leftover spaghetti with you? Now you can. Ever wanted to walk around with Cheetos in your shoes? Because you know, foot flavored Cheetos are the best ones. <laughs> now you can. What the heck are these creations and why would anybody think to make this? It's obvious rage baiting, but it's so outrageous. You might actually start to believe that it's actually a genuine hack that you would use. I mean, she does other ones like oversized and I don't even mean like Stanley size drinks. I mean like these giant mason jars full filled with <laughs> milkshakes and other creations, whatever she thinks to create, she's made it. So yeah, ladies, if you're watching this, you ever wanted to bring your food on a go, definitely go follow her because these food purses are gonna be the next big thing. Now, unfortunately, I have some bad news for you. Uh, the video's ending. Aww. I know, I know. Uh, but before I go, I have one more food creation to show you. And this one has to be the worst one yet. Now I'm all about trying new food creations, but uh, this man sat down and thought this was a good idea. Not only cooking it, but uploading it onto Instagram. Knowing the platform that he's uploading it to, would you guys like to try chicken baked in watermelon? Mm -hmm. There's nothing to say. Um, I'll see you guys next time, I guess. <laughs>